the two fields are entirely uh, different in their approach and attitude unlike uh, the military the civil is focused on a different lifestyle because it is involved in taking people uh, moving men and cargo from place a to place b and moving them at uh, at levels of comfort because people are paying for their journeys so the attitude approach safety everything is different in civil uh, it sort of tends to focus more on the higher end of lifestyles and that is why the civil aviation always has a five star look around it when you elect uh, armed forces or defense your thought process has to be more in terms of sacrifice in terms of love for the nation love for doing something adventurous and you cannot have commercial interest in your mind if you enter into the armed forces sure. it is neither is it encouraged nor will you inculcate because you are you are nothing but part of an environment that environment is austerity love for the nation love for your job and so the uh, whole you know off take is different in the military that i need from students is basic knowledge of physics and mathematics he should have uh, reasonable communication skills in english now if you don't have communication skills or are not proficient in english we'll still help you out over here because we have special capsules special training sessions because today there is a whole cross section in the country which can't speak english well but we don't deny them an opportunity as long as he can do his basic work we take him on and then after we'll train him so he should be physically fit mentally agile good in not good i would say at least have the basic minimum knowledge of 12th standard in physics and mathematics and rest will train you